He didn't say I was unopposed, but I am. I've been married for 40 years. If you don't think that doesn't give you some opposition, you're wrong. <laughs> the, I got into this because years ago the grand jury, former of the grand jury, called me up and said they wanted me to serve on the board of tax equalization, excuse me, on the board of equal, yeah, tax equalization, which is the second avenue of appeal behind uh, the board of assessors. And it was the grand jury. I didn't know what they wanted. I thought they might be wanting to indict me. So I said, oh, well, sure. I had no idea. I had to be educated and go to meetings. But I did that for 12 or 14 years. One of the people on that board was Earl Witherington. Earl got off of that and reformed the Board of Tax Assessors. Did it for 16 years. When he got ready to retire, he and Fred Deloach, two men who I have a lot of respect for, asked me to run for tax assessor, which I did. And here I am. And I have found out that tax assessor is probably the least understood uh, office in the county. Tax assessor is not correct. For one thing, we don't set taxes. We set the value on your property. And there are 48,000 parcels in the county, and there are just four or five qualified assessors in the office. We use mass appraisal techniques, and to, to use a very, very simplistic example, if you've got a subdivision like Wood Valley, for instance, where all the houses were built within a similar amount of time, picture a clock face. Between 12 and 3 o'clock, they look at that section of the county, of the subdivision. Between 3 and 6, they look at another section the next year. The next year is between 6 and 9, the next year between 9 and 12. It could be 5, maybe 6 years before they get back around to your house. And at that time, if the house has gone up in those intervening years, you say, well, my taxes have gone up 10% in five years or six years. They did it. They did it over a period of time, number one. Number two, the taxes aren't set by us. They are set by the county commission, which, by the way, wants to see us appointed rather than elected. I would not give up my vote. If I were you, you don't want the county commission appointing the assessors because they could say increase the value of the property and we don't have to increase the millage. Uh, the, so much of what we do is overseen by the Department of Revenue. They use mass appraisal techniques, which means, and again, I use Wood Valley because it's just a similar subdivision, so many houses built about the same time. They go through and look at all the sales in that subdivision over a period of time. If your house has a brand new roof, brand new carpet, new paint, looks great, and my, I live next to you and I got a leaky roof, no paint, no carpet, then they could end up being valued at the same amount because they will take every sale in that subdivision, break it down to a price per square foot, and apply it to those two houses. So both of our houses will be assessed at the same value. Now, there is an appeal, there are two appeal processes. One of them is the Board of Equalization, and then you can go to Supreme Court or to a mediator, either one. Actually, you start with us. Um, it doesn't take long to go before to, to get that first level of appeal. Did I have four minutes? Did I have four minutes? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Our next office is the Office of Tax Commissioner. First in is Ms. Felicia Williams.